is Perfume in Vegas, and I am bringing you a video about some scented candles today. What scented candles, you may ask? It is actually the Diptyque 2019 holiday set. This is the five candle with the mini candles, 35 gram set. I know your camera, my camera's here, my viewfinder's here. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> But the amazing thing about this set this year is that, actually I think it's kind of like that every year. I don't think they include um, limited edition scents. I think it's just limited edition sets. Um, but this year, all the fragrances are available. They're available for purchase um, in the uh, small candle size, the original candle size, um, some of them, not all of them, but some of them are available purchase in the travel candle size. So I thought I would talk about Diptyque candles, my favorites, the set, the scents, and just some tips and tricks that I've picked up when using the products. So first things first, the candle set is part of Diptyque's holiday collection. They do these collections every year. Um, and there's always a little something different. There's different products, there's different fragrances, um, but they do a limited edition set of, um, of seasonal fragrances that are not available year round. They do, um, candle sets like this with, um, fragrances that may be available, but not in necessarily in the mini size. They also had this year a 10 piece or a 12 piece, I'm not sure what it was, set of Faux de Bois, which is their wood fire scent from the years 2000 and whenever through 2019. So it was like a big set with those different variations. I really, really was tempted by that set, but I knew I would never burn them because Faux de Bois is my favorite fragrance in Diptyque's uh, permanent line. So if I had something like that, it would just be taking up space. And my goal for 2020 is to stop being a hoarder. That's basically what it is. I have purchased the set before. This is the, it's upside down? No. This is the 2015 candle set. I will mention some of, more about that after I get into it. So let's break down the 2019 set. First of all, I love the theme that they did with the red, green, and blue. I think it's so pretty. Then inside the box, this look like this. The other one looks exactly the same. And you take it off and you have your travel candles, or I'm sorry, your mini candles with the information card about the fragrances that are included in this particular one. The scents are, as you can see here, um, we have Bay, Rose, Mimosa, Tuberose, and Gardenia. And um, it talks about berries, which is Bay. Where is it on this side? And berries is the tangy coolness of freshly picked black currant berries blended with the flowery sweet accents of rose. Rose, the fresh floral notes of rose bushes brimming with flowers in the month of May. Mimosa, here in the middle. Mimosa, the mellow honey tinged fragrance of mimosas in bloom. Tuberose, heady and fresh and green, the scent of the slender white flowers is delicately nuanced with fruity notes and gardenia, the fresh and heady fragrance of a vast garden of white gardenias. So that's the how the packaging looks. That's how the set looks. Now, all of these are their best-selling floral fragrances. Bay is also their number one best-selling fragrance, um, home fragrance. So that's what the collection they went with this year. Um, the 2005 collection has a much more traditional sort of um the 2005 collection has a much more traditional 2005 the 2015 collection has a much more traditional sort of um holiday fragrance collection the only one i haven't burned yet is genevieve um juniper i don't know why i just haven't there's feu de bois which is here's my favorite pomander um i love pomander uh amber and apopanox um, I'm not sure if this was intended to be more of like a wintry sort of collection or if that's just what the picks, the picks were for that, that time. 
this set, the 2015 set I ordered online, I ordered it off of Space and K. The 2019 set was actually purchased for me as a gift from a Diptyque boutique, which was why a lot of this information was provided. This being a collection of their top selling, this being a collection of their top selling floral fragrances. Um, they also talked about the differences or the reasons why we you may want to get this set based on its value. None of that really has, um, sorry, you're here. None of that really has any um, value to this video anymore as this is now um, a, um, well, it was a limited edition set. It is not available on the Diptyque website anymore. And if you can find it on other websites, that's great. It's just going to be the last remaining stock. I don't know why I'm putting it back. I'm all over the place. I've been sick, you guys. I had a really bad illness. I'm still recovering. Um, I had a lot of stuff going on. If you're interested in any of that, it's going to be... Well, it's already um, talked about on my blog. Um, that link is down below. So let's talk about the scents. So Bay is supposedly their number one best-selling. I'm not a big fan of fruity scents, to be fair. This one to me, cold sniff. I haven't burned. Honestly, there is not one single scent in this box that I have ever burned from Diptyque. And that's, that I really, that makes me excited because I'm really excited to see how they smell once they're lit. Um, but Bay is like a huge favorite with a lot of people. It doesn't smell that great to me on a cold sniff, but I don't love berry scents. So whatever. Also, a lot of these things, these candles are not very strong on cold sniff, but I do not have any Diptyque candle that I have ever burned that has not burned well, burned evenly, and had a very large presence in the room. So keep that in mind, even the minis. I have the mini of the Figuere. Um, I've had a mini of the Rue 34, um, or 34 Rue Saint Germain, or whatever it's called. I'm, you know, their classic one whatever. <laughs> I'm so, so full of good information. Um, that one I actually did use on a hot plate after I burned it for a while and it scented just as well. So you can use these, um, without lighting them if you are not allowed to burn candles in your, wherever you are. So just also an FYI, that's a really good thing to keep in mind. Um, what else? I think I actually have a second tube rose that I just never have burned, um, but I've burned uh, travel sizes from them, and I've also burned full sizes from them, and all of them are, like, amazing. A travel size will easily scent a room this size, the mini size, too, um, and then if you had a full size candle, it's going to, like, scent your whole house. It's going to be great. Anyway, back to the collection. <sighs> so easily distracted. I'm like, <laughs> chipmunk. Roses is the next, and it smells like rose. It just smells like rose. Cold sniff smells like rose. Um, I'm not like a huge, to be honest, I'm not a huge floral scent fan to begin with. But a lot of these have a lot more than just florals going on, so I am looking forward to how they smell when they are lit. Mimosa is probably the most disappointing on a cold sniff. I was really hoping that it would be a lot stronger. 34 Boulevard St. Germain. <laughs> That's where I was trying to get with that. I was really hoping that Mimosa would be stronger. Um, and actually, if I smell in the box where this candle sits, it is quite a bit stronger. So it had kind of um, been absorbed. Um, but yeah, this one will really have to see uh, how, when it's burning, how it goes. That's mimosa. Tuberose is probably, um, tuberose and gardenia on cold sniff are probably already my favorites. Tuberose is going to um, be one of my favorites without even trying, just because I love the scent of tuberose. It's strong, um, it's fragrant, and it's probably going to be very, very potent once it's lit. You can also tell by the color of the wax how much and what type of um, essential oils or fragrance oils were used. Tuberose tends to be more of a yellow flower than uh, whatever was in mimosa, which is the mimosa flower. 
I didn't know that. The mimosa flower. Um, so you can see the difference. It's much more yellow, which means it's probably going to be a lot stronger. And then we have gardenia, which is also um, quite a bit. I'm going to show you gardenia next to rose. Did I just stick my nail into that? Okay. So you can see gardenia is, is yellower than rose. So it's going to be a stronger fragrance when burning regardless. Um, just something to keep in mind. Always, okay, I'll get to that. So gardenia oh, smells amazing. I do not like to wear gardenia in perfume, but I love the scent of gardenia. So um, burning it is going to be very interesting because if it's too strong, it actually gives me a headache. Um, but I don't think it will be. At this size, I don't think it will be. I think it will be good. On cold sniff, like the cold sniff, it's perfect. So as long as it's not too much stronger than that, it'll be great. Okay, so where I was going to go with the next point about burning. Um, luxury companies like Diptyque or, a, you know, any luxury candle company, because I, I know that there are more out there and I just don't know them. Um, so I'm going to compare them to your Bath and Body Works candle, right? A luxury candle company like Diptyque w should not be adding color to their wax unless it's a specific look or style that they're going to. For example, um, Diptyque does offer some like stylized candles that have matching like wax that matches their votives and um, that sort of thing. But wax should not be colored for the very reason that I'm telling you now because the color of the wax is going to be changed by the amount and concentration of fragrance oils in the wax. You can see here just by looking at it that both tuberose and gardenia here are much more yellow whereas mimosa, rose, and bay are white. Um, bay is slightly, slightly darker white so this probably has a more of a like grayish tinge which is also okay. It's going to be a little bit stronger on burning. If you go into a company and they're selling you candles and every single candle is colored wax, that company is not putting a lot of fragrance oils in their candles. You will know because you can't keep a purely pure, pure white candle wax if you have a decent fragrance composition. Even this um, juniper candle that has a very light colored um, wax is actually, see if I can get, there you go. You can see that it's actually not white, it is yellow. Um, and it doesn't have anything to do with how long it's been sitting here. It's not yellowing. Um, you can see with Faux de Bois that I've burned that although it is white, like it looks white, ignore the ash, um, the burned part is kind of a grayish color and that's the essential oil being brought like to life. So if you want a candle that is going to be strong, look for those that have a deeper, richer color in the wax and not just um, the ones that smell good on cold sniff necessarily. Um, you can see, for example, Pomander, one of my favorites from the 2015 scent, the leftover wax is a deep, deep, deep yellow. That was all those uh, fragrance oils being released and coloring the wax as they burned. The same with Amber, although it's not nearly as deep. And Apopanox went... A Popinox went to the very end, but you can see the essential oil, this grit here, this residue, that is actually the remainders of the fragrance oils from inside the candle. So you can see that these are like highly fragranced, highly um, scented products. And that's what really makes Diptyque candles better in my opinion than a lot of competing brands. Last year or the year before I bought the Joe Malone holiday candle set and 
first of all, it was a laugh because the candles aren't even 35 grams. I think they're 30 grams each. There's five of them, just like in the Diptyque set. There's five 35 gram uh, candles. Is that right? 35 grams? Yeah, five times 35 grams. So the Jo Malone set had five times 30 grams or 25 grams. I'm not sure. It was much smaller and it cost more. This set cost, uh, I, run, I believe it runs around 75 to 78 US dollars. Jo Malone set ran 100 US dollars. Um, and then the fragrances. I love Jo Malone candles. Some of them. <laughs> Very specific ones. There's a lot that are not worth your time or money. Um, very few. There are very few that are. And in this particular set, only two of them were any good, in my opinion. Um, again, that's just my opinion based on the way I like my fragrances to burn. I like them to burn cleanly. I like them to burn evenly. And also... I like there to be a scent that is both um, concentrated but not overwhelming. Now, last, a couple of last like little points, like kind of nitty gritty sort of stuff. Um, going back to the box that I have from 2015 because I have burned those fragrances. This is what I'm talking about when I am saying burning cleanly. Pomander burned to the end of its ability to burn, but it's there's wax left, there's a ton of residue, or there's a ton of um, ash or burn scorch marks on the, the product. It's just not clean. It wasn't, you weren't getting the most for your money. Whereas a Popinox, although there is some residue, this burned down to the bare bones. That's what I like to see. I like to see an even burn that burns down to the bare bones. Faux de Bois has that really nice even, not sure if you can see, the really nice even burn. Not a lot of grit happening. Something else that I appreciate about Diptyque candles, in my experience, almost all of them burn very, very clean. So my final thoughts, my final thoughts are if you didn't buy this set when it was Christmas, you missed out and you should definitely pick up whatever set catches your eye next year, especially if you're a candle fan or a home fragrance fan, because they also have sets for like their reed diffusers and um, all sorts of things. But also, um, I, I, I appreciate that they just decided to go with some best sellers in this set because one, it makes it easy for me to burn knowing that I can always replace anything that I really enjoy. It's not limited edition. I'm not going to have to like hoard it so that I can, um, be getting the fragrance and not, you know, never be able to smell it again. Um, I appreciate that the selection is varied. You have the two very deep, rich florals here. You have the lighter florals here and you have the berry scent here. Um, I believe it, it is my opinion that the products from Diptyque, regardless of whether you're interested in home fragrance, perfume, um, what have you, regardless of what you're interested in, that they are worth the money. Um, a full size candle from Diptyque runs you 75 or 78 US dollars. Uh, competitors are high, like much higher than that. Now, quality wise, I'm, you know, maybe there's like a huge difference in quality, but it does start to come down to a point where it's like, how much better is your quality? than what you're paying for. Um, Joe Malone candles, for example, are um, about 68 US dollars for a full size um, home candle, but I'm not sure about the difference in um, the actual weight of the product. So there may be a difference there, um, but I do think that for certain candles, you know, that price is good, for others, it's not. Same with Diptyque, I mean, for certain, for certain candles, the price is good. $78 for um, the full size of uh, Faux de Bois is totally great. The outdoor size, <laughs> the outdoor size of Bay, which is I think four over 400 grams. I'm gonna look, hold on. Okay, I just double checked. The five wick 
that's 10, five wick indoor outdoor version of Bay is 1500 grams of product for $340. Like that's actually, if that was a candle that you loved, that's an, that's an amazing deal. Like you could be burning that ish year round indoors and outdoors. I think it's good. Honestly, that's my opinion. If you haven't purchased from Dictique, I feel like you should. There's always like a coupon code or something you can use to get either a free gift with your purchase or uh, free shipping. Um, they have sales occasionally, especially around holidays. Um, if you're lucky enough to live near a Dictique boutique, <laughs> they offer um, a VIP client list where you can... Sorry, I'm not looking at you guys. They offer a VIP client list where you can um, go have um, first looks at new releases, um, meet and greet type of things, all sorts of like events. So it's um, it's worth it for the experience as much as it is for the product itself. Um, I have several gift boxes um, that I got with my orders from Diptyque Online. Uh, I use them for storage all the time because they're really sturdy and they're beautiful. <laughs> and now I'm just rambling, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, I highly recommend, if you haven't, go check them out. You can buy the travel size candles for about $35, I believe. Um, and then if you are able to, you can like tack on a free 35 gram mini candle as well, depending on what sale they have. It's worth it. It's worth it. Uh, some of the scents I recommend, if you like woody or smoky, go with Faux de Bois. If you like floral, I do say go with 34 Boulevard Saint Germain. It is more like a classic perfume fragrance, but it's really beautiful. Um, if you like fresh, if you like fresh, do Figuere. Um, it's very green, very, very fresh green. It's not really too sweet at all. Um, they have a vetiver one that I highly recommend if you prefer something clean. Um, if you want to invest in a more large candle, there's always beautiful uh, special editions. Um, right now they have like a whole Paris collection, which I'm itching to get my hands on. And yeah, that's it. That's all I can tell you right now. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box down below. I hope this gave you some information, was helpful, um, was perhaps uh, useful for you when you are going to buy a home fragrance in the future, especially if you're looking to invest in a high quality home fragrance, regardless of where it comes from. Just remember, keep in mind that if this wax is not white, you should not be paying a premium. That's that's the honest to God truth. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you are willing to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment if you're inclined, and I guess that's it. So, I mean, stay like me, which was, I guess, stay